the Silent Wings 4 120mm PWM high speed from Be Quiet. And if that made any sense to you whatsoever, this is likely the video for you. What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. For those of you who are new to the channel, I review and test PC cases, CPU coolers, PC case fans, and video cards. Before I get to the overview, to have full disclosure, this fan was sent to me to test and review, but all opinions expressed in this video are mine. So if you end up liking this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it really does help a lot. Plus, if you really like the video and appreciate all the testing that I do, you can support the channel by using my Amazon Associates links in the description. All you need to do is click on the link that suits your location, and when you add an item or items to your cart and order them, the channel will get a small kickback at no added cost to you. Okay, with all the housekeeping out of the way, let's take a quick look at this fan. The model number is SIW4-12025-MF-PWM. It has a max rated RPM of 2500. It has nine blades. It is a fluid dynamic bearing. It has the four pin PWM connector. It costs 24 USD and has a five year warranty. Now, before I get into the results of my testing, I wanted to be very clear that this is based off of a sample size of one. So this isn't necessarily the exact performance you'll get, but it should be something relatively close. Okay, starting with the PWM range, at 100% PWM, this fan had an RPM of 2630-ish. At 0% PWM, the fan actually stopped, so the RPM of zero. The fan kicks on at around 12% PWM and had an RPM of 300-ish. That's it for PWM range, so moving on to my standardized testing. If you have any questions on how I test the fans, please check out my fan testing methodology video. There'll be a card along the top. I will also have it linked in the description. But please note, I have updated the cooler that I use for the CPU cooling performance test to the Frost Commander 140. This way I can test 120 and 140 millimeter fans on the same cooler. So it's a little bit more apples to apples now. Starting off with the DBA and RPM. At 4 volts, the Silent Wings 4 120 PWM high speed had a DBA of 32 and an RPM of 910. So it is spinning much faster than the low end of the PWM range. At six volts, the sound level went up to 32.4 dBA with the RPM at 1385. At eight volts, the dBA went up to 34.8 with the RPM at 1825. At 10 volts, the sound level went up to 38.5 and the RPM went up to 2235. And finally, at 12 volts, the DBA was 42.9 with an RPM of 2605. Okay, now for the sound recordings at each voltage, but I will start off with the ambient room noise for your reference. The airflow testing is next. I left the DBA numbers up on the charts for your reference. At four volts with no obstructions, it had an FPM of 130. With the mesh panel, it had an FPM of 115. And with the cover panel, it had an FPM of 45. Jumping up to 12 volts to save a little bit of time here. With no obstructions, it had an FPM of 525. With the mesh panel, it had an FPM of 505. And with the cover panel, it had an FPM of 330. Moving on to the CPU cooling performance. At 4 volts, the CPU temperature was at 82.4 Celsius. At 6 volts, it was at 76.5 Celsius. At 8 volts, it was at 74.1 Celsius. At 10 volts, it was at 72.5 Celsius. And at 12 volts, it was at 72.1 Celsius. So not much difference between 10 and 12 volts. Okay, I'll be comparing the Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 120 PWM high speed to the Noctua NF F12 PWM, 
that cost 22 USD or 25 USD for the black version. The Arctic P12 PWM and PST, which costs 10 US dollars or $35 for a five pack. And the Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 120 PWM high speed that costs 11 USD. So when comparing the Silent Wings 4 to these other fans, it is pretty much matching the Pure Wings 2 in the DBA chart when voltage equalized. For the airflow testing, the Silent Wings 4 moves a good amount more air than the Pure Wings 2 does, again when voltage equalized. This is especially noticeable in the covered panel testing. Again, these two fans have the same DBA or thereabouts anyways, but the Pure Wings 2 is matching the much quieter Arctic P12 and Noctua F12 in FPM. Moving on to the CPU cooling performance. The Silent Wings 4 120 PWM high speed performs a fair bit better than the other fans do when voltage equalized. Which brings me to the 34 dBA testing. So with no obstructions, the Silent Wings 4 120 PWM high speed performs pretty okay with an FPM of 340. With the mesh panel, it again performs pretty okay with an FPM of 325. But with the covered panel, it performs extremely well, topping the chart with an FPM of 188. So yeah, it actually managed to dethrone the Arctic P12 PWM PST when noise equalized with the covered panel. So what do I think of the Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 120mm PWM high speed? First off, that name is stupid long and just stupid. This version or model of the fan should be the only version or model of the fan. Now with that rant being out of the way here, its performance is pretty solid, especially when you have it behind a solid or covered panel. I also have and have tested the Silent Wings 4 and the Silent Wings 4 Pro 4, both the 120 millimeter variants, which you may have noticed in the 34 dBA charts. You may have also noticed that the Silent Wings 4 PWM high speed performed better than the Pro 4 version did. What I think is happening here is the Silent Wings 4 PWM high speed that I received is an optimal performer, while the Pro 4 version that I received is a suboptimal performer, meaning the Silent Wings 4 120 millimeter PWM high speed is at the higher end of its plus minus 10% and the Pro 4 is at the low end of its plus minus 10% because the Silent Wings 4 120 PWM high speed was spinning 70 to 80 RPM faster than the Pro 4 version was, again when noise equalized, but with a sample size of 1 I can't really confirm this. There are a few more things I wanted to touch on. I'll start with the claimed lifespan of 300,000 hours, which is a little over 34 and a half years of continuous use, which if is true is absolutely mind boggling. Now, if that claim is even half true, that would mean that you wouldn't have to buy a fan for like the next 20-ish years, which would be pretty crazy. Now, I have no way of actually testing this claim, so you will either have to take be quiet at their word or not. Considering that there's only a five-year warranty on this fan, I would kind of lean towards the latter half of this, but I'll leave that up to you. That brings me to my next point, the price. The Silent Wings 4 has an MSRP of 24 USD-ish, depending on which model you get, I think, which is in line with other premium priced case fans, primarily the Noctua NF F12 which I would recommend the Silent Wings 4 120 PWM high speed over the NFF 12 PWM any day of the week. So there is that. Now, to be fair, I haven't tested the IPPC 3000 NFF 12 or the NFA 12 25 yet. So things might kind of change after I test those, but I doubt it since they are even more money than the NFF 12 and this fan. Now with all that being said, things do get a bit funky or confusing when comparing this fan to the Arctic F12s and P12s because of the price difference. 
you can actually get five Arctic P12 PW and PST fans for 35 USD compared to 120 USD for five Silent Wings 4 PWM high speeds. Yes, the overall airflow for the Silent Wings 4 high speeds will be more, but the Arctic F12s or P12s will be sufficient and you'll still have 85 US dollars in your bank or wallet. Now, the Silent Wings 4 120 PWM high speed did perform well in my testing, and I do think it is actually a good fan, name aside, but is it worth paying a premium price? The thing is, I can't really answer that for you. You need to ask yourself, are you okay paying a premium price for a premium product? And that's all I got for this one. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. There's also the HFG Discord server. It is completely free to join. All you need to do is agree to the server rules and then you get to view all my charts. A link is in the description. There is also Patreon if you'd like to support the channel directly. Again, a link is in the description. Uh, you may want to check out this video here. It should be along the same lines of what you just watched. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.